What's up you amazing hacker, I hope you're doing well today. Let's speed up your IDOR searching and your broken access searching with Authorize today. Let's get right into it, shall we? First things first, if you guys want to buy me a coffee that's now possible, I'll put the link in the description below. I'll also put the link to the ferret shop in the description, so if you guys want to hack along, feel free to. Now, first things first, I have my um, my OS juice shop started up. I'm logged in as my administrator here. I have my burp in the middle and on the right I have a low privileged user that's not an administrator and he can just do some requests like any normal user could. So there are a couple things we can test. First of all we need to configure or authorize properly. To do that we need to go to our proxy tab and look at our HTTP history and then we need to make a call as the attacking uh, target so if we want this person to be the attacker since he's our low privileged user we make any call and I'm just going to open the search page here and you can see that there are some get requests to the search page now when you want to use authorize you need to be able to tell authorize which headers to use to make the call so it's we have a couple of identifiable headers here as you guys can see we have a cookie with token in it this token is going to contain a JWT token and we also have an authorization header now we need both for this so we're just going to copy them and we're going to paste them in our authorize header section there are a couple of headers we don't need like this refer the connection and DNT we don't need those and we're just going to use this header now I have a couple of things configured as well and we're going to remove them for a second. So let's remove this filter. Now the scope items only is also going to be removed. So when you guys start up authorized, this is the first thing you're going to see. URL not contains and ignore spider requests. But if you actually look into the type here, you're going to see that you can add another interception filter of type sc scope items only. This is a very important one. I would always add this one. Now when we turn authorize on, we're going to do some stuff as our low privileged user, but we're not going to test any privileges yet. We're just going to test for IDORs for now. And to do that, we're just going to go to our normal admin account and we're just going to try some stuff. So let's add some things to our basket, shall we? Okay, we added some things to our basket. Now let's add another one to trigger a put request as well. Let's get the basket, see what happens in here. Let's try to remove some stuff let's go back to authorize now you guys can see a couple of things here a lot of pretty colors as you guys can see some columns let's explain what they all do shall we the first thing you're going to see is your uh, authorized status so this is going to be the request that has been made as the modified user so uh, here you guys can see a bypass and it is enforced question mark this is enforced happens because as you guys can see the original response and the modified response are not exactly the same. When we look at that, we can see that they are not exactly the same indeed. And that's because this function is being able to call by anybody, including our low privileged user. And it's just going to return that user's data. But you also have some calls in here that call directly to specific identifiers. Like you can see here, the get for the uh, REST API basket one. And we can see that this has been bypassed. Now if you look at the modified response and the original response, you guys can see that they are exactly the same. This is an insecure direct object reference. If I am a user, I can edit this basket identifier to anything I want and I can get anybody's user's basket. So that's pretty much as simple as that. Now a couple of other things you guys can notice, this annoying socket call over here. This is another interception filter that we can add. We can add another type of URL not contains simple string in this case. And we can add socket.io. If you guys you do rather use regular expressions, of course, feel free to. I'm not the police, I'm just here to help you. <laughs> so as you guys can see, um, we now have this socket call disabled. We're not going to receive that anymore. Now there's also some other things that you can do and I feel this is where most testers stop, you know, where most hackers stop trying for insecure direct object reference. But there's a whole nother layer of security out there that you guys can test. So for example, this was just functionality that that user can access, but there's also a whole different layer of functionality on this website that not every user can access. That's only administrator parts. So let's go to, to the administration panel for a second. 
if I can type correctly that is. And if we're on the administration panel, we have different kind of broken access control because this allows the user to do stuff that he's not supposed to be able to do. When we go look into authorize again, we can see that we can get the API call for feedbacks. We can actually do that as our low privileged user. And when we look at the modified response, we can actually see that uh, indeed we do get all of the different uh, reviews from the whole website. But we can also look at all of the user details. As you can see here, we can also bypass this. And this call for the API feedbacks is available unauthenticated, which is normal, I think, in this case, because everybody needs to be able to see all of the feedbacks. So I think this call is being used for the reviews on the home page. If we open up a product page real quick, you guys can see reviews in here. I think that's what this call is being used for. Um, but the user authentication details is one that's not supposed to be able to access by this low privileged user. And here you can see all of the stuff that the admin can do and it's not supposed to happen of course. So that's how you look for iDoors. I hope you guys found this interesting. A lot of stuff in this video. So if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below or in the Discord group. Um, you guys are really awesome for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.